Hi, I'm Scott and welcome or welcome back to the channel. Today with New Year's Eve fast approaching, we're going to be talking about cocktails. I know a lot of us will be ringing in the new year with the cocktail or more than likely ringing out 2020 with the stiff drink. So today we're going to have a classic old fashioned cocktail with a smoky twist. And for those of you with a more sophisticated palate or aren't as lucky as I am to have a significant other that loves bourbon, I am doing my first collaboration today with my sister-in-law, Jill Erbach. I'll post her link down below or possibly up here somewhere. She's a very talented educator and novelist and uh, she is going to be doing a more sophisticated champagne cocktail that I think many of you may enjoy. So please go check out her channel. So let's get right into it. A classic old fashioned. You need your rocks glass, a sugar cube, some bitters. This is your basic Angostura bitters, just a bit. A couple shakes, not too much. I also like to add a little bit of orange bitters to it. Again, not too much. That should be fine. Grab your muddler and crush the sugar cube. You want it to be nice and infused with the bitters. Grinding it into almost a little paste-like consistency at the bottom of your glass. It helps to have it dilute more when you add your bourbon. So I've chosen to represent Detroit today with some Detroit City Distillery Bourbon. You can choose any that you like. If you haven't, please take a look at my bar tour where I go through my bourbon collection. I'll link it over here someplace. So three ounces of bourbon. I always spill doing this. There we go. You can give it a stir. You just want the flavors to melt it. You don't need to shake this up and go too crazy with the stirring. Of course, you need a large ice cube. If you haven't seen my... I spilled. If you haven't seen my video on making perfectly clear ice cubes, that'll be linked over here somewhere. So now the fun part, we're going to put the glass, the entire glass, into my smoking cloche here. This was a Father's Day gift, I think, a while back. And we will turn it on. And add the smoke. So just a little, we'll let it sit there for a minute, actually 20, 30 seconds, something like that. This is apple wood, by the way. You can use any type of wood that you like. And once we think we have a proper infusion, you can pull it out. Try not to set off the smoke detectors in here. Got a nice little smoke in there. Garnish with an orange peel. Wipe it around the edges. My wife enjoys cherries on a pick. You can do it, just drop the cherries in there. And there you have it, the perfect smoked old-fashioned. Cheers! damn good. 
going to be a little bit of a problem since I'm filming this at like 1 o'clock in the afternoon. Now for those of you that don't have the high speed smoking setup here, there is another way to do this. There's several different ways to do it. So let's see if we can't try a more low tech way. I have another one already made muddled ingredients in there. And you can do this simply with, you can do it with a large vase that you fill with smoke and then cover the drink. Or you can do it in this fashion where you pour the drink into another vessel like this. So then you grab a small piece of wood. I've got this one speared here. You light it on fire. Then blow it out. And let the smoke fill this other vessel. Cover it up a bit. Swish the drink around inside. Add another ice cube. Pour it in. Garnish as we did with the other one. cherries and there you have it another smoked old-fashioned this one's for my wife this one's for me please go check out Jiller box channel I think you'll enjoy the cocktail she's making as well and if you've enjoyed this please hit the subscribe button the like button the bell button leave a comment down below do you enjoy an old-fashioned some other cocktail I look forward to hearing from you and seeing you next time here in the arena.